Hi, guys and girls. So if you're on PC and you're tired of the small storage container size, I'm going to teach you how to use a save editor and increase your size. You guys on console, there might be a way to edit your saves. I don't know how that works. I don't know if they encrypt your saves or anything like that uh, for the consoles. But uh, either way, this guide is for PC users. So as you guys notice, probably in No Man's Skies Beyond, unfortunately, we're still stuck with the old-fashioned five slots of storage space on our storage container here. And personally, I think that's crazy. Not only we power them, but we also only get five slots. They hold the same amount of materials, basically. I think they have some denser materials in some other areas, like glass, for example. Glass is five, so it does double it there. Cool. But it's, it's still, you know, you get 10 containers of only five slots, and yet your own inventory over time turns into, what, 48 slots? And then you have the other inventory as well that you can expand the cargo inventory on your character that's more denser. So in my personal opinion, I think that's crazy, and we need to fix that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fix it ourselves. So we're going to go to the desktop here. And then from the desktop, I have a URL in the description, and I'll hopefully post it in the comments as well, uh, where it'll be the No Man's Sky Save Editor. And you need to log on to this website, so you need to go to nomanskiesmods.com and go ahead and uh, do your um, login. You can use Steam, so you don't need to make an account, and then you'll just download it. And you'll get a zip file here, which uh, you just... You, you, you get it's pretty simple you have to extract it so I went ahead and I already extracted it to my desktop as the save editor and then basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna launch it so we're gonna double click I, I opened the 4g one it shouldn't matter uh, first when you start this it should look like my, because I've already opened it once uh, it should look more like this around this line kind of thing and uh, I've already played around with this, so some things are going to look weird. But uh, the idea is basically you go up here and you click open, and that's how it should look in that sense. And then what you want to do is you're going to open slot one, and you're going to open your latest save. It doesn't matter. I have some backups and other things here. Ignore that. You won't have them right away. But open your latest one, which it should automatically select the latest save. So save two basically is your manual save, like when you use... Um, your little device at your base where you can manually save. Uh, save save without a number is usually the save that uh, when you get out of the cockpit of your ship, things like that. And all you're going to do is go to base storage here, and you're going to change the size over here, which is actually pretty darn simple because all we're going to do is change it uh, from here. We're going to go to resize inventory, and you're going to do width and height, and we're going to change it from 8 and six and we're gonna go save now we're not done don't don't exit yet we're gonna right click and we're gonna enable all slots and basically this will let you use all the slots if you don't do that then you're you were gonna still just have your five slots and if you want to do it to other uh, containers as well you get ten of them right so you, the first one zero and it goes up to nine you can go ahead and do it for each one I'm just gonna do it for my first one for now um, I feel like that's all I need at this time. Later on, I might do more. Ah, actually, you know what? Let's just do it the next one since we're here anyways. It's like, you know what? I'll, I'll just do it. Okay, so we'll do eight and six. Uh, eight and six, yeah. And then we'll do enable all. And then, yeah, so we'll go ahead and we will save the file. And we'll go yes. And that should be it. And then we're going to go and meet you back in the game. Okay, now that we're in game... Of course, the effect won't take effect yet because we're still in the current save. So what we're going to do without saving, we're going to go to options. We're going to go to reload manual save. And it'll actually be the timestamp of when you save the, with the save editor. So right now it's actually 510 now, uh, my time. And uh, it shows 1709, so one minute ago. So we're going to reload that manual save. And it should take effect once it's done loading. Okay, so we just finished loading here. You can see things that are looking a little rough right here while it's still loading. And if we open this up, look at our storage container now. So we have 48 slots, beautiful 48 slots. I like how they shrink it down, I like to, to make it look good. And we can move things, you know, around here. Actually, I don't even know how to move things around. Uh, so you can do the quick transfer, but uh, we can go ahead and you can get the idea here. It's working. And then we can, you know, close it. We can turn off the power here. You can see I can't open it right now. We turn it back on. You can see that you have the 48 slots. It's working great. 
And that's it. That's as simple as that. Hopefully, this was a, a pretty simple and clean tutorial on how to do this. And I hope you enjoy more base inventory. I also included a link in the comments and the description. It'll be the second link. Uh, I do recommend, if you guys do believe that uh, Hello Games should increase the base storage uh, size, especially those for console who might not be able to be as lucky as us, that you go ahead and put a bug report in. Actually, it's a, a suggestion report. And ask for increased size because... Honestly, we are walking bags, or banks. Once you upgrade your character, you have so much space. But why is your own base have very little? It's kind of cool watching the ships go by. Why is your own base have like the tiniest storage ever? It just doesn't make sense. So the, the hope and the idea is that we don't just fix it for ourselves, but maybe we can fix it for everyone down the road. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.